Welcome back to Bullseye Outdoors. For the past few seasons, I sat in a blind, waited for the animals to come in, and simply opted for a nice, clean broadside shot and went home with a freezer full of meat. That's all good and well, but is it really hunting? So I tried my hand at spot and stalk, but my method was a little bit too unrefined. So by the end of 2017, I went home empty handed. So I found a nice picnic spot and took a moment to reflect on my archery career so far. Competition makes us better hunters. In the pursuit of target perfection lies the essence of the perfect kill shot. Practice makes us more attent, in tune with a piece of mechanical genius. But shooting with a bunch of great guys that motivate you all the way, and a support team second to none, is a fantastic confidence booster to any archer. And I can't begin to thank you all enough for all your encouragement, and that includes my competitors. I'd achieved my national recognition thanks to all of you. Good morning from the Limpopo bushveld in Narbum Spreit. The rut is on. These animals are crazy with lust. Yesterday I had an impala ram 
charging in right at me stopped at about maybe three meters four meters did a u-turn and then stopped at about 53 yards as i ranged him uh, the canopy the bush canopy was a little bit low so i couldn't take a shot um, but he must have stood looking at me for about 10 seconds and then spun away uh, calling and rutting at one of his challengers further on that side uh, yesterday um, i saw one of the biggest rams i have ever seen along the fencing on this side uh, this ram must have been at least about 27 inches with a good i would say a good 40 centimeters gap between the tips of his horns he was huge i stalked them right up to about 19 yards um, and that is going through foot-long grass patches of ground patches of shade right up to where i could get a shot but he had a green tag in his ear and i couldn't shoot him morning I stalked to within 60 yards of another impala with a red tag in his ear. Couldn't take him either so that is how it is. You gotta look for the buck without the tag so I hope I get this done. This year I am loaded up with Rage Tripans. Uh, these are 100 grain tips and the total weight of my arrow. These are Carbon Express Mutinies. Um, which are about 9.8 grains per inch and a total weight of this arrow is about 430 grains, 432 grains, so it's not bad. I'm getting about 290 feet per second and that's the setup. That's it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm on. I just hope this wind will stay in this direction and not switch on me like it did yesterday during that storm. Uh, I really hope I can get in close to about 40 yards and get a shot down range on one. where all that action was with the two rams fighting and this is where he got through broke a strand and those are the two that i saw now on the other side of the fence there were numerous occasions where i came close but there was a problem you see i often got to within 65 yards of a good ram but my bow was only set up for 50 yards max the terrain was good, and if I'd had a gun, I'd have been satisfied. But that's not the idea now, is it? It's July here in Tabazimbi, and after four days of crawling and stalking and chasing, I've had to retreat back to the hide. Let me explain. This terrain is, is impossible. It's impossible to keep your balance on this. You're constantly losing it. Having your ankles rolled out from under you. So you, you can't really concentrate on doing the job of hunting. You can hear how noisy this is. Time was against me. I had only one more day left, and I knew I was against the ropes. The stage was set. All I had to do was rely on the trail cam footage that this wily old ram would come in during the afternoon hours as he did before.
8.45, July 22, I couldn't have asked for a better Impala for my birthday. Alright, let's go get it. He was drinking over here, and that over there is my arrow. Tripan successfully deployed, lung shot. Second time only I've had a full pass through. And he ran around this way, trying to follow the herd. And he could only manage about 90 yards. And there he is, all the way in the distance. The interesting thing about Impala is they usually want to remain with the herd even though they're really hurt. And this guy, he completely got ripped open, man. Gee, look at that. I know it's gory, but my apologies. But And this is the one I saw on the trail cam footage. Those gnarly horns of his. I'm not sure if that's from fighting. Just look at that. Not an ideal shot, I know, um, but I'm pretty sure I saw him look up at me and, and that's when I had a squeeze off. I knew I was on him, I knew the rage would do its job and clearly, well, the fruits of my labor. Okay, let's see if we can get him out to the road. It's only about 40 yards that way. Ah, thorns. Ah. Mm. This has been an epic journey. What I've learned from this experience is that terrain is everything. You need sufficient cover, but you also need stealth. And I genuinely believe that I gave it a good shot. I gave it my all. And had I had more time, my efforts might have paid off. And who cares about the lost time, the sore feet, the thorns, numerous cuts and bruises. All that matters, the essence of the hunt, is that I hunted at all.